Good morning guys! We're now on day 4 here in Iceland. Uh, now we're traversing the southern part, the southern tip of uh, this country. Uh, as you all know, yesterday and the past few days we were uh, in the western portions of Iceland. Uh, our tour guide told us that in this area, uh, the Game of Thrones cast are filming for uh, the next season of uh, of the series. So let's see if by any chance we get to bump into them or any of their uh, filming locations. So I'll keep you updated on that. But this is an update on what's happening on the PSEI as what we've been doing uh, over the past few days. So today the market was slightly up uh, but not uh, anything significant that would bring it back close to around 8,900 which is uh, as of this point the resistance or nothing close also to where the support is at 8,500 so uh, small movements like that show you indecisions uh, in the market there was one thing I did not point I was not able to mention in yesterday's video uh, that uh, the sell down yesterday was with a very very strong volume I believe it was around 11 billion value turnover so in technical analysis parlance uh, larger movements like that uh, cause cause larger convictions also of uh, buyers and sellers getting out of, of whatever positions that they have as what I've mentioned in previous videos uh, which is normal for them to also uh, take uh, profits and stay away or or at least pocket the winnings that they've already uh, received so now after a la large movement there is some switching there is some changing there is uh, a slight indecision already of uh, movements in the market but let's see you know as what I always tell people during uh, our stock smarts events whenever you see indecisions like that your goal is to uh, hello <laughs> hi guys <laughs> Your your goal your goal is to uh, wait for what the next candle will be. Your goal is to wait for what the next uh, decision of the market is. So if the candlestick uh, somehow on a day-to-day -day basis goes above the closing of today's price, you may expect a short rally up towards 8,900. But if you see an, a red or black larger candle, uh, we may see the market's head straight back down still to 8,500. So uh, nothing has changed as compared to what I've been mentioning the past few days. 85 now becomes our downside target support. 85 does not hold. 81 becomes the larger support. That's close to where uh, the 200-day moving average is. Bounce from 85 will bring us to 89. We go back to 89. 8993 is in progress. Uh, will still be in play. But as of now, uh, the range that we must respect is 85, 89. Strongest. Uh, does the nearest resistance is 89. Does the nearest support is around 8500. I, I I did not mention this in some of the videos that uh, on the on the video that we did yesterday. But uh, a lot of the stocks already have been breaking significant support levels. Even even uh, the larger blue chip companies from Ali BDO they've been uh, breaking uh, the, the near term support uh, levels. So, so uh, with that, that should be a level also for you to uh, make a decision. When support levels are broken, it can serve as a point for you to take profits. You have to remember, markets just move in cycles. There will come a point in time when uh, this these companies will have to retrace and go back to support levels. And for those who have not entered yet, that can be your chance to uh, start coming in. That will be your chance to uh, position and also uh, make trades and make money off of these markets as well. So uh, that's it. I'll try to do another edition of stocks by request. Uh, probably by tonight when we hit uh, the southern tip of Iceland. So I hope videos like this help you gain the confidence to trade the markets with uh, ease and confidence. So this is Marvin Germo from the southern portion of uh, Iceland. I hope this helps you trade well, trade strong, trade smart. God bless you all and see you all again soon. By the way, here's how it looks. This is the trek for the next few hours. No, uh, I've been eating a lot of carbs today, uh, the past few days, but the treks have been very, very good for exercise. So, see you guys.